it looks like it, there it goes it froze up a little bit I've been looking everywhere for this webcam for three months and asked for a little divine assistance to find it and I found it uh, which is amazing and the other really cool thing I'm gonna share um, is uh, that I've been looking for my lapis angel forever like a year <laughs> I lost her in my closet because I carry her in my pocket and she fell out of the pocket of one of my pants and um, yeah I found her and she should not have been in there and suddenly she popped up in a place that was absolutely uh, she should not have been there uh, it was strange and wonderful and I'm glad I found her because I love her so much and I'm so so glad that uh, she's back so um, and our little lucky cat's gonna hang out with us this is my video response to Danu's dragonfly and uh, basically this is going to be my uh, makeup which I did not realize I had so much of until I started doing this and I'm kind of embarrassed to be honest um, <laughs> Uh, it's it's not too bad, but um, honestly, it's really not too bad. I'm looking for my um, one thing. Look at those stuff that all shuffled because I made the video and I'm I'm one of those people that has to describe everything in detail and it just gets ridiculous. So I will try not to do that. Um, the first thing uh, that I have, and she doesn't make this anymore, um, it's Batty's Bath. She makes natural um, skincare and cosmetic products. I can't afford her things anymore, but they are well worth the price. She is not overpriced. Um, let me stress that. She is not overpriced. Her products are well worth it. Um, this is a mineral uh, makeup concealing powder. It's basically just a white powder and you can put it with a kabuki brush lightly lightly being the keyword or you will look white <laughs> all over your whole face and by white I mean like lucky cat there um, or you can just use a smaller makeup brush and just cover up the areas um, that need the heaviest concealing um, which is what I do like my high cheekbones where I have the worst acne scarring things like that um, and around the corners of my nose where you get those little red capillaries and things like that. That's where I use this. Um, I just have this. It's a NYC liquid concealer. I'm just using it until it's gone. It's not great concealer, um, but I'm not going to waste it and throw it away because I don't believe in doing that. So um, since it's not terrible, it doesn't break me out and it does the job, I'm going to use it until it's gone. And then this is the um, base that I use. It's CoverGirl um, Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 in color 805, which is the palest color. Um, they have two ivories. This is ivory, and then they have uh, basic ivory. If you are a cool, which is uh, pink tones in your skin, I believe, if you can see your veins through your skin and they're blue, then you have pink undertones you want to buy this one um, otherwise you have olive undertones and you want to buy the 810 um, this is fantastic 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 it has a pump on it which is why the lid is such a mess because I make a mess of pumps and it basically is um, a primer concealer and uh, foundation all in one this stuff blends so well I use my hand and my fingers to put this on um, and it doesn't streak and then I just blend around the edges with a uh, uh, blending sponge and that's exactly what I do with it and it covers really really well and you don't have to put it on really heavy um, I just use basic covergirl powder just basic basic in the uh, pale list that they have because I am pale um, and then this is my eyeshadow well I'll show you my blush first I'm not a big blush person, 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 but um, I do have blush. Where's that hideously dark one? Oh, I've got it. I bought this one 
um, and I can't tell you the color because they, they always put it in the spot where you have to open it and there is a glare from the window you guys I'm actually letting sunlight in which does not happen in my room so um, you can't see the color there's some leftover on my hand where I swatched it this is so dark um, and I don't like dark uh, blush a lot so um, because I just don't wear it I probably should because I'm so pale but um, other people might like this it's kind of a warm a warm uh, tone it's not a berry kind of a tone it's more of a toasty kind of a tone I'm not getting it under the camera at all um, don't like it <laughs> uh, this is pretty but I don't wear things that are frosty shiny um, so I didn't know it was when I bought it but it's really really pretty elf makes it um, it's like two bucks and then this is my salvation uh, cover girls cheekers because it's um, it's sheer and this is like a peachy color which is what I like because um, that's uh, doesn't make me look super red and um, it's it's a uh, sheer so I just put it on with um, What's that brush? I put it on with this brush, this brush, which is bigger than it looks. It's like that because you know I'm from the 80s. But I don't, I don't. It's wide, and I don't like a lot of blush, so um, it works great. So I put that on, uh, and then I powder, and then this is all eyeshadow. I buy a lot of my eyeshadows singles and a lot and on sale, so most everything that you see here is on sale except for a couple things um i don't have anything high end uh but everything i have works great so i don't really feel the need to buy anything high end to be perfectly honest um there's one more that goes with this elf set i got this at uh christmas for um five dollars and they're all browns except the other that came in the set is a dark blue and a dark red and I, I've used the dark blue the dark reds I just don't know what to do with them um, I have another dark red here because I like them um, cheeky is what this one's called I like them but every time I use them it looks like I have an eye infection so still working on trying to use those and I like glitters so here's some of my I don't think I drug the other one out. That's okay. I have another glitter besides these. I love glitter. So I have glitters. And this white is really good. It's just a flat white. If you like to have white on your brows or what have you. Um, this is my prized possession. It's my Elf Elsa from Frozen Palette. And I am going to show you the inside of this. I know I'm running short on time. I'm trying to be very, very quick. Um... But look, you guys, look at this. Look. And the white is like snow, so it's frosty. And the black has like gold flecks in it. I've not used the black yet because I'm not sure what to use it with. But um, I love this. I paid full price for it. It was $6. Um, and I didn't care. <laughs> I was not leaving the store without it. They only have like two left. So, oh, here's my other glitter. Diamond dust. My roommate gave me that. She bought a bunch of makeup and then she decided that she never wanted to wear makeup. And then um, a girlfriend I was dating gave me this and we're still friends and she's awesome. Um, and this is another prized possession. It's a elf little black book and this is the nighttime one. As you can see there's lots of dark colors. The oranges and yellows, don't really wear those. I've worn the greens. The blues I wear a lot. Um, the purples, the browns and um, of course the blacks and uh, pewters and all those I wear quite a bit so love that palette um, this alley colors brown um, I think it's like I can't think what they call it a uh, traditional palette you guys alley colors um, this really surprised me I like this palette and I have used it a lot since I bought it and I paid a dollar for this it is pig minted I mean you 
you don't have to layer 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 on the stuff at all it, trust me you don't don't do that <laughs> when I bought it I put it on way too heavy um, it's fantastic and I have used this um, a lot since I bought it um, I mean every time we've gone out that I haven't worn like black or blue or whatever I've used these for my browns I've, I'm not even using the other browns anymore so highly recommend those um, and uh, here's my eyeliners not even gonna go through all those um, some of them I have I just didn't like them and because um, they're just I don't like a really hard eyeliner it, it hurts so I go get softer ones and I like them in colors so I like purples and greens and silvers and ones with glitter and them and things like that and then I do have a lipstick problem but I want to tell you I wear every single one of these so when I'm pulling all of these out of here and if there are a few that I don't like I use them for costuming at Halloween um, so but at some point in time some of these I wear more than others but um, at some point in time you will see me in this because I do wear it so and you'll see me in that or you'll see me in something more traditional like that or you'll see me in something like I know you guys have seen me in the adrenaline a lot um, this one is awesome I wear that one a lot and the only uh, pencil I have for lip liner is just a nude one, and I use it for everything. Um, this is the mascara I use, um, Rocket Volume. I think uh, Maybelline makes this. Um, I really like it. It's waterproof, and it um, my lashes are really, really long, so I'm able to pull it out and get the ends of them to um, curl up because I don't like curling my lashes. It freaks me out. Um, all my brushes again um, all my uh, eco tools were gifts everything else was bought on sale um, some of them were like three for a dollar I think the elf ones were all a dollar um, you can't have too many eyeshadow brushes because some of them especially if you wear a lot of black eyeshadow they get really pigmented with black and you don't want to use them for anything else um, and then um, I have an I I do like nail polish again all of them get worn some just once or twice a year like that gets worn with black at Halloween and then like I have a yellow that I wear with black because I'm a Hufflepuff um, things like this I tend to wear more in the summer and then um, most everything that you're going to pull out of here is going to be a dark color or something vampire-y like this red. I will wear like red, black, red, black, red, black or just red. Um, I have dark reds and then you'll reach in and pull out a pink and you'll be like, what? But I do wear pink. Um, guys, if you don't use quick dry, get it, love it, it's your friend. Um, this will make your nail polish dry so much faster. It's kind of oily, and um, I I've always used quick dry because I'm not patient. But then you're gonna find I'm looking for my favorite color, and I'll probably be able to find it. This is close to it. It's just someone different makes it. I don't like this nail polish. That it's like my favorite color. It's exactly the same shade. It's just someone different makes it. My favorite color is by Sinful. It's called um, What's Your Name? And it's just like crow feathers. And it reminds me of the song What's Her Name? by Green Day. And I'm not even going to get all those out. And then my best friend gave me this box, which was really sweet of her. Um, because that is like one of my anthems. I love that friggin' song. So that's it for uh, my makeup. So. I guess it's not too bad because I don't buy something unless I'm going to wear it or I think I'm going to wear it. Sometimes I take a risk on it if it's on sale. Some things I don't wear as often as others. Like this one is um, pink velvet. 
and it only goes with certain things, but and it's an extremely conservative color. So this would be something I would wear, like if I was gonna go up to see my grandmother and my family, just out of respect for my grandmother, I tend to wear conservative, like I would not wear this red around my grandmother. She would not like this. So I tend to wear um, more conservative things around my grandmother. I bought a specific lipstick to wear up there last time actually. Um, that's nice and nude. Um, that, you know, because I, I love her very much and I respect her. She raised me and um, I'm not going to wear things um, around her that uh, I feel would be disrespectful and um, you know she she doesn't like my black hair but she tolerates it and um, she likes the way I dress though but I'm not gonna wear black you know black dark makeup around my grandmother so I these are colors the more conservative ones are colors that I would wear up when I when I go to see her so my dad doesn't care he's used to it um, this pink I would wear though it's actually um, pretty sheer it looks dark as anything, but it's not. It's really, really sheer. She would like this one. She prefers I not wear any makeup, so I just uh, keep it light. Uh, just out of respect. She's 94 years old. To me, she is um, an elder, and she has taught me so, so much, and she deserves the utmost respect. So that is what I give her. So... On that note, um, oh, I forgot to point this out. This is something else that I would wear around her, but I also wear it for myself if I've got light makeup on. Elf makes these lip balm tints. These things are awesome. Of course, I have the darkest one, but they make other ones too. And they just give you a teeny, teeny bit of tint. So if you have makeup on, you don't look like you have naked lips. Um, and they, it makes your lips really soft. Recommend. Anyway, I'm not getting anything at all free or otherwise for recommending any of these products. Let me point this out. Also, hard candy makeup. Really, really cool. I mean, look at this. You guys have seen me wear this. And uh, they've got a couple more colors that I'm going to get um, in this stuff. So, anyway, um, that's it. That's the makeup haul. This is long, so I'm going to go. Um, and I think the webcam worked out pretty good and the natural light coming in here is making my vampire senses twitch so um, uh, that's it for this one and um, blessed be guys take care bye